Hey guys, what's going on? What's happening? Mm. See my sunglasses? <laughs> They're on your hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was on camera too. Oh, winter, winter chicken oh. dinner. Man. Cooking dinner, lunch I mean, with the BioLite camp stove. Oh, and Brandon's man. doing his best not to dump the water inside. Again. <laughs> Again. Yeah, you really kind of need to add some more sticks. <laughs> Oh, dude. You want me to do it? No, I get it. I'll pull Just it get the really, really small twigs. Yeah, I'm gonna get some small twigs and I'll pull the cup and do it that way. What are we eating for lunch, guys? Ramen. Ramen? Ramen? Which one is it? Ramen. Either or. Yeah, I thought it was ramen. I do wanna. What are the uh, What are the uh, origins? Origins of the I need the origins, please. Origins. Um, Use it in a sentence for me. Made in America. Spelling? Yeah. I don't know how to spell it. No, it's not American. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's no. not American. Love you to death, but Jesus. <laughs> what? Hey, how many miles have we done so far? Four. Four. How many are we going to do today? Ten. Ten? Thirty. Are right, we doing ten today, Kalen? <laughs> yep. Oh, I wish I'd have known that. I wouldn't have turned my uh, tracker off. <laughs> Good document that. If we go back the way we came, we'll do eight today. Eight. <laughs> How's that go? <laughs> the villain from Inspector Gadget. The claw, I do believe. Oh, Dude. shit, that's hot! <laughs> I think that's hot. Ah, dramatic. <laughs> Drama! So, there you have it, folks. The BioLite camp stove. And it's hot. We cooked uh, <laughs> two sets of ramen. We boiled our water in like three, four minutes. We can have to take a little. And there's no ash in the water. It's clean. There's no smoke from the burn. You could charge your electronics with it via the USB port. It's a little expensive, but for what we do, it's well worth the money. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. You got yeah. your fuel all out here. You don't have to buy no stupid cans and refill them or go buy more. Exactly. You know what to do with the cans. Just grab me some toys. Yep. That's what's up. And some ramen. Oh, look at that ramen. You can see the steam coming right off of it. Mmm. Yeah, why don't you stick some on your inner thigh? That's my heel! Again. How's it going? I wanted to show you something. That's all fatwood. Sapwood, pine, pitch wood, whatever you want to call it. I think fatwood is the most common term. Scored a bunch of it today. We don't have a whole lot of pines around here. But, uh,. The part of the forestry that we were at had like it showed where they had planted a bunch of pines and we found a dead one that was laid over with the root system exposed and I got uh, a whole bunch of pieces from it and just to show you how effective this stuff is just make a quick little feather here okay. now a lot of you guys if you've tried to uh, make a fire steel fire with with just sticks and shaving it down it, it's not as easy as you might think but with fatwood I just want to show you how effective this stuff is just barely hit it with that and it flames up now if you do the whole stick like that like check this out here's you can really see the sap in that spot right there. Let's just get a little bit of that exposed. Look at that black smoke rolling off of it. That's some good stuff. That's the that's the sap that uh, once the tree dies, it still keeps pumping sap even though the tree's dead. And over the years, it concentrates so much and it just solidifies into the wood and uh, excellent fire starter so hope you enjoyed this little tip uh, check other YouTube videos out there on how to find it but pretty much pine trees that have been dead for a long time push them over you to the roots or sometimes if you find a stump you can chop into the rotten wood and find sap wood fat wood in the middle of it or even a branch on the side of the tree that's been dead if you can break it off at that joint there should be some good fat wood there too so thanks guys <laughs>